I remember about a year ago, I was on a range show, showing you a rifle, 257 Roberts, a Kimber. I had an elk tag. Thought it was going to be the last one I was ever going to have. Uh, this year they turned around, I was watching the, the draws after the first draw. There was 30 leftover tags in the same unit, same time frame, same everything. I threw my name in, damned if I didn't get one. This is what I'm going to shoot him with. 330 grain. Lyman calls it out of theirs with number two alloy, pouring it soft lead just like this comes out at four, 343, 342, 343 hollow points. 45 caliber. I uh, don't know exactly what rifle I'm going to shoot it out of yet. I haven't decided that, but I have decided on a bullet. I'm just casting some up. Gotta have there bullets. There you go, YouTube. Now you know how I go about making my decisions in life. Ah, 343 grain as dropped bullet is what we're going to be shooting. What are we going to shoot it out of? 4570 H&R. You've seen that gun. I've got two videos on uh, YouTube with it. 4570. That's as cold as it was last year in the Black Hills. It's the same tag I had last year, December, first two weeks. It was uh, five degree below, five above, up and down, colder than Dickens. If it's that cold, I'm going to shoot that one. If it's nice, I'm only two weeks away. I'm out here in a shirt. We're going to shoot this guy. 45 cal muzzle loader. This is basically hand built. Well, it's a kit. You order stock, you order all the parts, you got to fit it, you got to do a lot of work to it. 45 cal. Get that barrel dressing on there for you. Is that cool or is that what? 32 inch barrel on it. Got a three and a half pound trigger on it. Just breaks absolutely perfect every time. Nice stick of wood. I've had this rifle about 15 years. South Dakota's heyday of deer herds in my lifetime. The late season. Muzzle loading, doe tags only. We used to be able to get 10 licenses. 25 bucks for two tags. You can get that five times over. Most ever shot in one winter, eight. Uh, she got a one in 20 twist in it, very fast. It's not a round ball barrel, it is a bullet. That's why we're pouring, uh, gonna be shooting what I was just pouring right over there a couple of weeks ago. Uh, absolutely beautiful gun. Work of art, one of the finest guns I own. Rates right up there with my Kimber, in my opinion, as far as quality, craftsmanship, accuracy, shootability, good looking. Uh, two weeks out to that license, give me a couple and I'll show you what happens out there in Black Hills, South Dakota. Thanks a lot.